Hello to all my beautiful Virgos. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm truly grateful as today it is your birthday and I am here for your birthday reading. I hope that in this reading you'll be finding out what is your birthday gift, what to prepare yourself for, what to watch out for, what areas perhaps you're going to explore, messages from your ancestors and also messages from your future self and we're going to be going into some oracle cards and finishing off with some letter castings. So before I dive in, I really want to wish everyone a happy, happy birthday, Virgos. May your year ahead be successful, full of love, light and also health. And I hope that if you are looking for financial stability, stability, which everyone is, wealth as well. I hope that you are able to um, surpass your goals this year ahead. And also um, for just today, I hope that everyone that is celebrating your birthday while listening to this reading, uh, that you're able to get to the place that you need on time, you're able to have your favorite meal perhaps, or even doing something that's on your list. Um, yeah, I really wish everyone to have a great, a wonderful day. Okay. It could be evening or night as well. Okay, so let's get into your reading. This first question I'm going to be asking is your birthday gift, Virgos. What is your birthday gift? And also, by the way, this reading, it is general meaning. Please do embrace what resonates. And if it doesn't, doesn't make sense to you, you can always leave it, okay? But also there will be some areas in this reading where it may not make sense right now and it may click sometime later. Let's see what's coming through for you. Virgos, what birthday gifts coming through? Okay. And our bottom card we have here is yes just say yes perhaps with a year ahead virgos it's time for you to say yes to many more things and not to worry too much and it's okay to make mistakes perhaps moving in we have sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher this is beautiful energy that is arising your birthday gift is learning how to really upgrade yourself in a spiritual way, learning how actually spiritually you are guided. And with that, the beauty from within just glows. I sense that a lot of you um, this year ahead are going to be perhaps meeting a priestess or a mystic teacher, uh, either one on learning new skills that you have been wanting for a while or travel to like a retreatment. This could be your birthday gift. Moving in, we have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So this is a beautiful gift actually, despite the picture looks a bit too daunting. However, if you can see, past them gates it's beautiful flowers and i sense that there is this something that you have been holding on from previous years or even just past year that it hasn't been dwelling well on you and it's time for you to release it release any negative energy that has been carrying on today is your birthday and this is your gift to release and know that life can be actually beautiful after you go through that gate. Yes, right now it feels like storms, hurricanes. Uh, but know that once you go through with this emotion, facing it, whatever it may be, it could be a work environment. It could be love. It could be uh, relationships with friends, family members, or just even living environments as well. I sense that some of you have been wanting to move or uh learn new things and there's something that's holding you back this could be a feeling this thing on your mind or someone holding you back and with this what are you clinging on to is a question that you could ask yourself right now or maybe after this reading so this is a beautiful gift learning how to sum it up learning that 
I'm going to be learning something new this year. And I feel like it's going to be something that you will be able to keep forever. And this is for you to take the leap of faith into new experiences. As we had the yes card at the bottom, it's time for you to no longer cling on to the past energies because it's doing you no favors. Moving in, let's get a message from your ancestors. This could be someone that has passed away, um, your ancestors meeting great grandfathers, great, 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 or just in your your family line, or however you may associate ancestors. So let's see, their birthday message to you, your ancestors. Okay, and the bottom card that we have is the hangman. So it's in the reverse What with that. I sense that um, your ancestors or anyone spiritual is telling you that um, some of you have been like quite stuck in this comfort zone of yours and it's time for you to step out of that and surpass whatever has been holding you back and your Ancestors are really saying that they've seen you in a better light and they can see what you can achieve. It's time for you to release and learn that you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone this year. And again with that card, yes, it's time for you to say yes to these experiences Moving in, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is really saying that perhaps this year um, it's time for you to really stop overthinking in paranoia, anxious environments, thinking that you are able to achieve your goals. With more practice, you will be able to do it. I feel like this is something that someone has said to you before, perhaps uh elderly in your family saying more practice makes perfect moving in we have the ace of cups now this person that's giving you this message they see how wonderful you are and creative you are and when you put your heart and soul your essence into something something beautiful is born this pearl here is such a beautiful stunning item with jewelry depending on whatever and however you view it but a sense with this is that when you put your heart and soul you are able to achieve what you have been wanting for this lifetime wow moving in we have the five of wands the five of wands in the reverse indicates that this year is going to be steady and uh, your year ahead when it comes to perhaps work um, also perhaps socializing i feel like there will be less uh, arguments and less competitiveness i mean a bit of healthy part is good however i think your ancestors or whoever's been watching you and guiding you or you know, having their eyes over you saying they can see how toxic your environment was in the past year. Now they are really helping you. And I sense that some of you will be seeing the numbers 555. A lot. Okay, moving in. Let's see a message from your future self. So a year from now from for your birthday. What does your future self would like to tell you? Okay, wow. We have three major arcana cards. We have the devil, the high priestess, and the justice. The devil is really indicating that a year from now, you'll be free from any addictions. You'll be free from anything that has been holding your, you back. You'll be free from anything that has been stopping you from gaining your success. We have the high priestess. And I sense with this is that in a year time, 
your future self is saying like, look, maybe I was not confident, but look at me now, I'm glowing. That's what the high priestess is here in all its jewelry and all its form of glory. I sense that in a year ahead, you're going to learn to love yourself and you're going to be more empowered and showing your feminine energy, perhaps, if you have too much masculine, as we have a female and male here. I mean, it doesn't, rep I mean, it represents yin and yang, and the good and the bad, and I sense that you're learning to block it out. And then we have justice here, and I sense that if there has been any legal issues that has been ongoing, finally, something will be, you know, justice for you. And also with this, I sense that in a year's time, there will be this contract that you sign and it's going to make you like feel, wow, I've achieved something more than what you expected or it succeed, you know, exceeded it. So this is beautiful energy. Your future self really wants to say to you that you can do it when you put your heart and soul and you can do it when you find balance. And to some of you, you might be seeing, again, 555s, 222s, and also 111s quite a lot recently. And that's something, that's like a sign and to tell you to, yeah, this is your sign to do that, to love yourself, to trust your intuition. Moving in, we're going to see what uh, will you be exploring this year. Would you be exploring this year? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Sorry. Oh, what energies? Uh, energies? What would you be exploring this year for your birthday, Virgos? Oh wow, that's beautiful. Okay. And this, the our bottom card, soulmates. So relationship is in order for you for the year ahead. I sense that you're going to be close more than ever in your connection. And um, some of you, if you want to plan families, that's something that's coming through for you. I sense that um, if not, there will be someone walking into your life. It doesn't always have to be like in a relationship matter it could be in a friendly connection that someone gets you and is able to support you as well with this soulmate though i do sense that if you are been looking for relationship love in particularly i sense that this is something that will be coming towards you and this could be someone around you already that you may not even know of and it sounds very cliche but i think pay attention to the people that's around you Moving in, we have milk and honey. The milk and honey really is an indication indication of success. This is beautiful energy with the rainbow here and the elephant joyous and the honey and the milk basking in that bliss. And I sense this is something that's coming forward towards you. And with that said, though, to have this, for you to have this, you have to keep working on your craft or whatever you have been putting your you know, aiming for your goals. You have to put work into it. Perhaps it's strategic. Perhaps it's luck for some of you this year ahead. However, I sense still work at your craft. The milk and honey, it's a beautiful energy. And I sense this is an energy that you've been needed for some quite some time. We have not for you. So this year, there will be several episodes where you are going to feel rejection with that said um rejection is the best redirection meaning sometimes when it's a job or a relationship or a friendship or an environment that does not work out for you or you are able to you know uh grab whatever i don't know anything that has been on your mind if you're not able to have it. Maybe the next best thing will come out. And know that with this is sometimes based on luck as well, as I said, with this card similarly. similarly. And also we have five, one, and six. Six, six. That could be some uh, um, a number to look out for as well. 
Okay, so finally we're going to be looking at this. This is the self-care guide. And I believe very much so in self-care. So I don't know. What should you be exploring for the year ahead? What do you need to explore for yourself, self-care? For your birthday, how could you treat yourself for self-care as well? Ooh. Okay, so the bottom card that we have is um, spend time with friends and uh, some of you for I can feel that the older we get the less time we are able to spend with our friends because you know life happens and I feel like with this is that some of you need to learn to make time to spend with your friends moving in we have look at the stars uh, but look at look to the stars with that I sense some of you, you may not know your natal chart, but I feel like your natal chart could um, help you a lot um, to see your signs, learning about yourself in perhaps the areas that you may not know of. Um, perhaps that's something that you need to look into. We have a soak in a bath. Um, this is this year ahead remember to take time out for yourself remember to relax your muscles relax your mind and feel free and content with yourself and our last one that we have oh no we don't have last one last two that we have we have dance meaning move your body more um if this could be an exercise i sense would that really help with your health and also freeing your soul we have dream journals. So I sense that your year ahead, you're going to be having vivid dreams. And if you are able to jot them down, perhaps if it's not in a planner, it could be on your phone, just a pen or paper can do. And I feel that will help wonders and help you with your goals as well. Because in your dreams, be like subnim subliminal messages, if that's the right word that can help you for your day-to-day -day reality. Okay, last thing but not least, we're gonna go in to some letter castings. Let's see, Virgos, what messages would I like to come through for you for your birthday, what letters? What letters would I like to come through for you for your birthday? Okay. Wow, okay, we have quite a few letters. We have some A, A, three O's, wow, I, or L, depending on how you look at that. U's, N, D, Y, F, W, C, S, Q, E, why? Okay, first of all, what I can see is the word yes, and that exactly with this card. Yes, I, this is a really a, a message that's really repeating itself. It's normally a message that you should hear. Um, yes to new experiences, yes to new like places, or even trying. Um, new things and i sense that exercise as well run perhaps some of you are going to start running for sports or perhaps or training for the marathon um and having fun with it what else can you see what other words can you see you can tell me in the comment section down below thank you so much for joining me for your tarot reading um this was fun i hope that this resonated and also I hope that today again it's going to be a beautiful day for you and I'm going to sign off saying happy happy birthday. Um, I'll catch you on the next one.